What's happening YouTube? T-Train here bringing you episode number 27 of our Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke! 27 you guys! We've had like four episodes in a row where we lost somebody and I really, 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 really want to bring that to an end. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that, alright? Let's, let's, let's see if we can do that. Uh, because we had a death, we obviously had to add another team member. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll do a brief team recap here right quick. First up on the team, we have our starter, our boy Susan, who wants you to respect his life choices. With Pound, Sparkling, Aria, Aqua Jet, and Disarming Voice. Next up on the team, we have Zorak, our Fromantis, with Leaf Blade Slash, Growth, and Synthesis. Next up, we have Toucan, Samantha, our Toucanon. With Pluck, Beak Blast, Brick Break, and Flame Charge. Next on the team, we have the boss with Brick Break, Fake Out, Belly Drum, and Knock Off. I'll use. I, I might use Belly Drum one day. I don't want to say that I will use it, because it terrifies me. But I might. I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, next up on the team, we have Miss Cleo, our Alakazam, with Grass Knot, Miracle Eye, Reflect, and Psychic, and. The newest member to the squad, we have What's going on? our new Alolan Doug Trio. Uh, it does have a plus attack nature. I'm not especially happy about the uh, the minus defense, but uh, I mean that's that's just how that goes. That's how that goes. Uh, with Metal Claw, Earth Power, Rock Tomb, and Sucker Punch. Now, as you can see. Our moves have run a scotch on the dry side with Doug Trio because we, you know, we're training him. Him? Her? I didn't even look. Him. It's him. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and heal up here. And while we're doing that, a brief reminder, if you do like the things that you see here today, you want to see more of those things, then smack the crap out of that like button down below because if you don't know, your support is greatly appreciated. And now, you know. Uh, so we're gonna get that heal going on here right quick, and we are going to start heading out to our objective. Um, do I have anybody holding an amulet coin? I don't think I do. I do not think I do. Um, I might go, I, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the boss, and I'll put the boss out front. Uh, as soon as I can find it. Uh, because, if you couldn't tell, uh, I spent basically all my money on the new outfit that our character has. <laughs> because, uh, as, as far as these games have gone since Gen 6, I'm addicted to clothes shopping and Pokemon. Uh, I, I am not ashamed. <laughs> he, he looks, he looks ridiculous, and that's exactly what I love. That is exactly what I love. But I can do things like this. You should see, like, the abominations that I made in, uh, like, in Fallout. Oh my god. Uh, my, my roommate has told me that he still has nightmares about it. And that's just great. That's really... If I can have that kind of an impact on somebody's life, that's really all you can ask for, right? So, <laughs> we're gonna move on here. We have some things we want to get done today. What those things are exactly, I don't know, but we definitely want to get to that next marker. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we have a double battle actually coming up here with the athletic siblings. Um, mm. that is not a great lead for us. Oh, especially with the intimidate. Here's what I can do though. I can do a fake out turn one. And I could probably run Zorak out of here. Uh, Susan's probably our best option. So we're gonna switch out to Susan. And I probably will switch out the boss next turn. Because Flinchinder probably has speed on us, I would imagine. Okay, that takedown's not terrible for us. Uh, 
Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm not really sure what our- but we might actually just need to stay in. Um, I'm going- oh god, I don't want to, because I don't want Hariyama to have to take that flying attack. But I don't- I guess- I guess I could switch out to Samantha. And I could Sparkling Aria. Oh, that's gonna hit Samantha too. Uh, then I will Aqua Jet the Fletchender. Uh, and we'll- we'll just- we'll take it from there. I kind of feel bad for the Fletchender, it's getting bodied by the, uh, the two priority moves. But that's- that's just the way it goes sometimes. Susan's gonna hit level 35, we might actually think about turning off the experience share here soon. We don't want to get too overleveled. The boss! Put that level up. Miss Cleo gonna catch that level up. And wants to learn recover? Uh... If I was doing Wi-Fi, I'd probably learn it. But, I mean, I buy potions for a reason. Oh, you can go ahead and hit Susan. Susan's gonna eat it. Susan's gonna eat that all day. Uh, it really is just terrible news for you, is now you're gonna be on the wrong side of a two-on-one. So we're gonna get this herd of dirt out of here. Easily on this turn, actually. See you later! I actually feel really bad. This is a little puppy. Like, the puppy didn't do anything to anybody. But there we go! We have them taken care of, and we're gonna move right on along here, because why the hell wouldn't we? Uh, we already got an encounter on this route, but we are gonna catch this gyro ball. Okay. Okay. I think that does damage based on how slow your mon is or something like that. Uh, it's not something I'm gonna look into right- Oh, we, we just got spotted! That dude sniped us, he wasn't even on the screen. But that's okay, that's quite okay. You have a Stuffle? I really wanted a Stuffle. Stuffle is adorable. Beware is nice and derpy. But it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Catch this fake out. Look at that damage. That's our girl. And we go for the easy brick break here. That, that's just what makes the most sense. Oh, that adorable little cry. How can you body one of those and not instantly feel bad? That's what I don't get. It's just so gosh diggly darn cute. Okay, Faith Moves Mountains. Okay. I have yet to see that happen in my lifetime, but I will take your word for it. Uh, for what that's worth. So you have black- Oh, you have your own Hariyama! Okay, I can dig it, I can dig it! You're gonna catch this here fake out. Cause it's turn one. You always fake out on turn one. I feel like I have made that abundantly clear throughout my my Pokemon playing. That's damage. You're gonna whirlwind. That's probably okay. Oh, that's oh honey. Oh honey. Catch this psychic. Poor Hariyama. He just, she just didn't see the error of her ways. Samantha gonna hit level 34. Wants to learn Drill Pack. I am all about that. Drill Pack is 80, Pluck is 60. Goodbye, Pluck. So we're gonna move on along here, I believe we're just about- Oh, we're gonna grab this item, actually, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, a quick ball! Gotta love the free quick ball. You gotta love the free quick ball. We have this nice lady here. Greetings, trial grower! Tri trial grower. Trial grower. I don't know what it is that I can't read out loud. 
I didn't know I had this problem until I started doing YouTube, and now it's all I can think about. Oh, look at that blinding yellow Electrium Z. Now I guess I'll have to open the game. I mean, yeah, you will. Try to stop me. Bitch, you try to stop me from going on, fucking going on on my, my merry way here. You can catch me outside. How about that? How about that? Uh, we are on a new route here, and new routes mean new encounters. What do we- what do we have here? Greetings, T-Train! I wonder how many times her voice has changed. I just don't remember voices for people that I don't see every episode. Well met, I was seeking you. If you're going to travel about Ula Ula, you ought to do it astride a Mudsdale. <laughs> he looks amazing. There is no call for hesitation. Consider it my thanks for the Kala Island. Oh, just pouring pouring salt in that still fairly fresh uh, wound there is just fantastic. I appreciate you for it. If you seek the next trial, go straight on through here to Tapu Village. I'll be cheering for you on your island challenge. But still come back. I still need you! I still need you! Oh, we're gonna move on here. Yeah, yeah, Mudsteels are awesome. Thank you for the reminder. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and assign this Mudsdale to that particular slot. Oh, man. Give me that Zygarde cube, please, and thank you. And we get a bird heal. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm really curious. How do we make it through there without an encounter? Yeah, we're going back. We're going back. Give me more. We got our encounter, our first encounter for whatever route this is. Is Oh, it's a Lola Geo, dude. That's. I am not mad about that. Catch this fake out here, and we'll see how much this does. That does nothing! That makes me think you can live a knockoff. The odds of you holding an item are very slim. I'm thinking you could take this. I'm thinking you could- No! Our second encounter to self-destruct. Are you serious? Come on. I like at the rate that I'm getting my my Pokemon killed, I can't afford to lose encounters. Why didn't you want to be on my team? Because you knew I was gonna get you killed. That's actually that's fair. I can't even be mad at you for that, I guess. I'm on the very last blade of grass here. An Elekid would have been awesome! I could have given you the Soothe Bell and we could have been BFFs. Are we doing this? Are we doing this? I don't want to do this. What are you calling for help for? I haven't even touched you! Thank you. It's obnoxious. Oh, it's just another area? There's gotta be an item up here. So or a trainer! There could also very well be a trainer up here. And she ain't even closing in, she's just like, I'm gonna fight you from here. She's pulling out her scope lens. Oh, you have a Tortuga! You have a Tortuga! This would actually be a nice time to bring out my, uh, my Fromantis, but... I don't think we're gonna do it right now. I'll just be taking damage that doesn't have to take. Especially when we have Brick Break, we, we already know that... Well, I, I shouldn't say it's gonna Oko for sure. I... it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
I don't. I didn't want to be overconfident. Is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go. Give me that evolution, you beautiful little Pokemon. Look at that nice, nice and powerful Lorantis. Zora catching that sweet, sweet evolution that is awesome for us. Look at it. Look at it. Look at all the sass coming off of that thing. <laughs> Look at all the sass coming off of that thing. It fires beams from its sickle-shaped petals. These beams are powerful enough to cleave through thick metal plates. Uh, what are you trying to learn? Petal Blizzard? Hello? Stirs up a, and attacks everything around it. Um... I guess I'll get rid of Synthesis. I don't really need Synthesis. It's the same thing as having Recover on Alakazam. It would be great if I was playing in, uh, in, in competitive. But for PvE, it's really not a necessity. That's just the honest truth of it. That's just the honest truth of it. There's a reason why I buy potions. Oh, there was an item over there! I gotta go back for it. I gotta go back for it. Oh, hey! Look at that Geodude. I had a shot at catching one of those once. I should have just thrown a quick ball at it. I don't know why I didn't throw a quick ball at it. You know why? I can actually, I can tell you exactly why I didn't do it. That is a thing that smart people do. That's a thing that smart people would do, and I am not capable of making smart person decisions. Oh, we're gonna run over here, we're gonna go and grab that item, it's there, we want it. An elixir, that's not bad, that's not bad. Elixirs are always a good thing. Oh, just let me get away. Just let me get away. You're just gonna rub it in my face, aren't you? You're just gonna rub it directly into my eyeballs. Catch these hands. Catch this shit out of these hands. Get out of here, Geodude. I'm still- I am. I'm like- I'm so salty. It's one of those things at the time, you're just like, okay, what's the smartest way to go about this? And the smartest option is like, over here, and you're looking directly that way. I got this item, it's an X attack. I probably won't use it ever, but, I mean, we could sell it. I don't know what it is about X items, I've never really felt the desire to use X items. I, I probably should at least keep them every now and again, because they, I mean, they could be helpful in a pinch, and I just, I never do. I just sell them. And that's probably not even, as I'm talking about it, that's probably not even going to change. Is there another route that I can encounter something on? This is Blush Mountain. I just want to see what route this is. I know it's not going to be Blush Mountain. Route 12, okay. Yeah, I didn't see what route that was. But we do have Blush Mountain here. Uh, I am going to sidestep you for this second. Because I want to get an encounter! I want this encounter! There it is! We have an Elekid there on the screen! I dig it! Um, I am not going to make the same mistake twice, although I'm not certain... I'm, I'm thinking that odds are Quick Ball probably won't catch it. I feel like Elekid has a lower catch rate. Huh? Alright! Cool, cool, cool! I, I can dig that. I can absolutely dig that. The boss hit my level up. Uh, so now what do we name this thing? What do we name this thing? I'm actually- I, I actually think I know what I'm gonna call it. Huh. 
I am going to call you... JYT. Is it- I, I don't know if it's weird that I'm like naming Pokemon after people that- I mean, I watch them, but I'm not like friends with them. I don't know if that's weird or not. Like, <laughs> tell me in the comments down below if you think that's fucking weird. Uh, I don't know, I just- I mean, that's his mascot. I'm a fan. I don't even know what's in here. What are you? Welcome to the geothermal power plant. Take time. Take your time. Read all about our plant. Time moves slow around here. You could even say we. <laughs> stop it. You stop it. Welcome to the geothermal power plant. Learn all about our plant. It's electric. God damn it. <laughs> our class is here at a field trip, so we rented out an entire Executor Express. That's probably why I had to wait so long for the other one. I'm one of the researchers here at the geothermal power plant. Hello? <laughs> good old, good old Magnemite. I'm sorry, I hope you weren't frightened just now. That Magnemite is actually my Pokemon. I'm really sorry if you gave me a shit. What are you giving me? What are you giving me? Are you giving me Thunderbolt? Embargo? What does that even have to do? Bruh. You guys are making all these electricity puns, which don't get me wrong, I like puns. I'm a fan of puns. I am. And you give me embargo? Who the fuck was ever like, oh man, I'm so happy that I have embargo in my life. Alright, hey, we have a little oak over here. I want to talk to Samson. One of them don't remember what his voice was. Oh, hello, 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 uh. Here in the Alola region, volcanic eruptions can result in long, thin strands of magma. They form strands of glass rather than like hair. But the hair of the diglet in here is not glass, but rather whiskers of some metallic substance. They use them for communication as sort of sensor to investigate their surroundings. Here, I've been wanting to give you this. Allure ball. I mean, you just, you keep saying that you've been meaning to give me things, and every time you see me, you give me one thing and you walk away. Give me, just give me the rest of the things. You know? I don't want to, I don't want to come off as greedy. But, I mean, it's just, it's efficient. Think of the efficiency, man. Got a timer ball. I am not mad about that. All these free Pokeballs in this episode today. We can turn the heat within Alola's brown into electricity, and it doesn't even cost a thing. This is the real blessing of nature. Oh, right on! I I fully support that. And I also support that this item is here, and I want it to not be- A sunstone! Okay, okay. I don't know what I would have that would involve with a sunstone, but... I mean, I have one if that opportunity ever comes. Please stop. Please stop doing this to me. Oh, uh, oh, I snuck past that guy. I forgot about that. So we're gonna fight this fella here. Let's see what you got for me, homie. You have a Psyduck that is quite okay with me. I have no problems with that. I, I guess that is what quite okay with me means, is that I don't have problems with that. Uh, we're gonna fake out! Look at that damage. Look at that damage. And we're gonna brick break. That is one dead ass dead side duck. What else you got for me? You have a Fero. Yo, is this the time? I think this is the time. We're gonna bring out what's going on here and we're gonna hope what's going on can, uh, Oko. <laughs> Because, man, this thing, it doesn't take hits well. But we do have Rock Tomb. Oh, it's not gonna Oko. Let's see what, uh, let's see what they got. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. 
Are you gonna outspeed me this time? You are gonna outspeed me this time. There we go, that's steel typing coming through. That's the whole reason I used him. That is the entire reason I used him. Get on out of here, Firo. So we finally got what's going on here. 26 minutes into, well, roughly. Roughly 26 minutes into our episode. Making his debut, catching a level up. Miss Cleo's gonna catch level 32 and we're gonna get on out of here. We're gonna hop on our Tauros here. And we are gonna piss right off. So we're back on Route 12. We'll head over here. I should have I should have switched to Mudsdale and just run up the thing so I wouldn't, you know, get stopped by an encounter. But what do I know? If we haven't established already, I do dumb things. This is kind of my MO. So we get out of here, we don't need to fight that Geo dude. What do we have over here though? Is this uh Secluded shore. Oh, we might get another chance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! So, as you know, Crabrawler here is a static encounter. Uh, so maybe we cannot kill it this time. Maybe we can at least have it sitting in our box. Uh, I'm gonna give you a, a knockoff. Not very effective, shouldn't be terrible for us. Uh, you are gonna confuse me there, that which makes that makes sense. You used Dizzy Punch. Okay, that doesn't do a whole lot. That does not do a whole lot. I'm completely okay with that. Uh, I want a hyper potion. Uh, do I need to? I don't think I need to. I'm going to though. I just, I want, like I said, I want to make it, I will at least want a one episode streak of not losing a Pokemon. And Power Up Punch is not going to help that cause. You're in yellow, I don't think you'll get help yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm going to hit you with one more knockoff, that should be fine. Let's say that payback shouldn't do anything to us. Hey, there we go. Perfect! That's my girl! That's why you're the boss! That is why you are the boss. Uh, we're gonna go to our Ultra Balls here. And hopefully we can catch this thing. We got one! We got two! We got three! Hey! We got three! That's what is up! Right, so we have a crib brawler here. Nice and registered. It punches so much, its pincers often come off from overuse, but they grow back. I mean, at least they grow back quickly, I guess. What the hell do you do for the time that you don't have them, though? Uh, so what do I call you? You're a female. You are a female. Uh, you know what? One of my favorite female fighters, even though I know she's retired now. Um, I really like Misha Tate. Uh, for- uh, it's, a uh, former UFC fighter. Former UFC, uh, women's bantamweight champion. Uh, she's one of my favorite- Fighters, uh, sad to see her retire. So I'm gonna give this thing the nickname that she has. I'm gonna call you Cupcake. And I'm gonna send you to the box for now. Um, we already have a fighting type on our team, as you do well know. Go ahead and give me the rest of those if you wouldn't mind, please. I, you, I know there are still- just continue giving them to me. Please pour them into my gullet. I will take all of the berries. How many- Gemini Christmas! I wasn't even ready for how many berries I just got there. Um, I don't want to fight you just yet. Uh, I didn't see grass- actually, let me double check here real quick. I'm gonna- I'm gonna dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge over here. 
Yeah, it doesn't- ooh, we'll, we'll take the Zygarde cube. But yeah, there's no grass over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and ride around in this here water. We'll ride around in this here water so we can get an encounter, and our encounter here is going to be a Finneon. Okay. Uh, that's not great, but that's alright. Not every encounter can knock it out of the park. Hopefully you live this fake out. Is it- is it terrible? Like, I didn't even want to waste a, uh, like a great ball- or a quick ball, I should say. And I feel like anything else I have is going to destroy this thing. I wonder... I wonder if a Grass Knot would kill. I know it's super effective, I know Miss Cleo's special attack is really good, but it also does damage based on the weight of the opponent, and Finneon cannot weigh that much. That is just not even a possibility. I tell you what, here's what I'll do. Before I even try anything, before I even try to hit it with anything, I'm just gonna hit this here Ultra Ball, and we'll see if we can catch it. Ah, there you see? You learn from your past mistakes. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That is awesome. We have a nice new Finneon here. It probably won't be used anytime soon. Well, hopefully it wouldn't get that call anytime soon. Its double tail fins propel its energetic jumps. When it breaks down the surface of the sea, Wingle swooped out. So you're actually better off in the box, okay. Um, I am just going to call you Nemo, because that's... I feel like it. I feel like I did that in Soul Silver as well, actually, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like I had a... a Finneon or a Luminion that I was just like, I'm gonna name you Nemo, because I feel like it. So that's what we did. Alright guys, and that is actually where we are going to wrap things up here today. Uh, just a reminder again, if you do like what you see here today, to smack the like button down below. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's also somewhere down here or over there. I can't, I don't know where it is off the top of my head. But with that, I am going to get on out of here. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and with everything you do, always remember to stay on track. Toodles! Everybody lives, Rose. Just this once. Everybody!